Hello, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies and in this video I'm going to be looking at Yahoo Site Explorer alternatives. Now, as you may know, Yahoo Site Explorer ceased to exist in November 2011. Um, it was an incredibly useful site for finding backlinking information and it was also used by a, a lot of tools for their uh, backlinking data as well. If you go to the Yahoo Site Explorer page at the moment, and this may change sometime in the future, uh, it essentially says Yahoo Search has merged with uh, Bing Webmaster Tools. Now the problem with Bing Webmaster Tools, which um, are very similar to Google Webmaster Tools, is it's mostly geared around your own sites. You can't really go in and uh, find backlinking information for other sites. So I've got three alternatives uh, um, that uh, uh, you can use um, as uh, Yahoo Site Explorer uh, inf type information. So the first one <coughs> I look at is Open Site Explorer. Now, Open Site Explorer is created by SEO Moz, which, if you're not familiar with, a highly respected organisation that uh, do a whole bunch of research and uh, tools around uh, SEO. Um, <coughs> they have a very large database. Uh, at the moment, they're reporting 43 billion URLs and 9.2 trillion links uh, they they go out and crawl the web you know, all the time just uh, you know in, in a similar fashion to all the major search engines now in order to get useful information out of open site explorer you will need to register for a free account they do have seo moz pro accounts um, which give you more detail um, but they are relatively expensive so <clears throat> You can you can still get uh, plenty of good free information out of the uh, free account. So for a sample site, I'll be just looking at uh, Traffic Travis. So we'll just click on search, and <coughs> first thing you notice here is uh, it will say here the URL you've entered redirects to another URL. We're showing the results for triple w traffic travis dot com since it's has more information so yeah it, it will pick up it doesn't really matter what if you put in the triple w or, or not it will pick up the one that's the most useful okay so across the top here we've, we've got a quick summary here so um, page authority and domain authority which are figures uh, calculated by uh, SEO Moz obviously the higher the number the, the better a uh, number of uh, root domains are linking to Travic Travis and the total number of links that's found. Now on, on this figure here of total links, you'll find that all the tools will report different number of links. That's because there's no one tool that will ever give you a 100% accurate figure on the total number of links. And that was certainly the case in Yahoo Site Explorer and any other um, backlinking tool. Now, saying that SEO Moz uh, do crawl the web a lot, and they do have quite accurate data. So, yeah, just just keep that in mind when, whenever you're looking at these uh, figures of the total links. Okay, so if we have a look down here, we'll, we'll see a, a quick summary of the top top sites linking into trafficTravis.com. So we've got first one here is Cake PHP, which is a PHP um, development and uh, website um, <clears throat> and it gives you the page and domain authority of, of that uh, linking domain and by default it's sorted by page authority so you can just go down there and you can this one's got six pages that you can scroll through uh, some of the other information we get uh, the top pages so that's the um, top pages that are linked to on that particular domain so obviously the home page is, is, is the main one and then we've got a few other um, we've got a, a register link there for example and you can so on and so forth for all the all the various pages on that site uh, you can see here some of the additional information you get with the, the pro account uh, linking domains again uh, we can get a, an idea so this is just the actual domain itself, the, uh, where the links are coming from. Uh, in this particular example, twitter.com, which has, not surprisingly, a domain authority of 100. And then some 
you know, other well-known sites like Copyscape and Squidoo, and you can go down through the list area. You can sort these on, you know, any any particular column you like. You can also filter out on, on various metrics. Um, anchor text always a useful one to know. Um, and again, not surprisingly, Traffic Travis is the top um, anchor text and SEO software, and a few others there. And you can scroll through those lists as well. Um, now, link metrics is quite a useful one. Um, so if we have a look, this is this is um, not comparing it to anything at this stage. So we can get a whole bunch of information such as uh, the Moz rank, which is SEO Moz's equivalent to Google Page Rank, except it's updated a lot more often. Um, th things like followed links, internal links, yeah, and, and a few little graphs there. And there's a whole whole bunch of stuff in there. So, for if, for example, if you wanted to um, compare other other sites, you could just click on the add URL there, and you can compare them side by side in a column. Okay, and then advanced reports is uh, only if you've got a, a pro account. So that's a, that's a quick overview of Open Site Explorer, and certainly, um, yeah, it, it's it's been around for a while now, and uh, it, it has does have some very useful information. Next one we're going to be looking at is Majestic SEO Site Explorer. Now, when a lot of the tools that relied on Yahoo Site Explorer were, um, wanted an alternative, they used um, pretty much all of them went and um, use the uh, Majestic SEO data. So again, we'll, we'll just put in the same, same domain. Okay, so here we go. We uh, gives us a, a little summary here with number of referring domains and the external backlinks. And as you can see, these, these numbers are different to what we had on Open Site Explorer. Uh, and then some summaries here as to number of IP addresses and images and no follow. And then in the top backlinks, again, we can see the cakephp.org site there. And a handy little graph there to show that, you know, refer you know, some of the top referring domains linking into trafficTravis.com. And down here, the top pages on trafficTravis.com itself. Um, <clears throat> Majestic SEO use a thing they call AC rank, and all sites seem to have their own uh, ranking metrics. This is a number between 0 and 15, 15 being the highest, 0 being the lowest. And again, we can see here the number of backlinks to that particular page and number of domains. Now, just going back to these graphs here, the, these graphs are, are incredibly useful. Um, it's not something you seen on, uh, on the other sites and uh, I'll, I'll just click on it so that we can see a, a larger version of it. So what's what this is showing is here are the, um, the non-cumulative views of the number of backlinks. So these are the number of backlinks discovered each day by Majestic SEO. So if you see particular peaks in there it's usually some backlinking campaign or perhaps some viral campaign that's really taken off um, and here the referring domains uh, to that particular site. Now you can change change the view to say uh, cumulative and that will show you the total number of backlinks um, so we can see here on 26th of November it's sitting roughly on around about uh, 75,000 backlinks. Now we can also do useful things like com we can compare it with uh, uh, another four sites so let's we'll put in SE Nuke as a comparison and we'll compare the two and as we can see there SE Nuke has um, well, <laughs> quite a substantially more number of backlinks compared to Traffic Travis uh, although interestingly the the domains are, are roughly similar. Now there's um, two, two types of data they have is the fresh data and historic data. So fresh data is from the last 30 days and the historic data goes back as far as 
they have in their index, which is typically um, you know, 12 months or so. Um, so here, you know, we can see it going back to July 2010. Um, I'm guessing they they didn't have uh, any data from that um, beyond that point there. So again, you know, you can get some some very useful comparison graphs, and having the uh, historic data and fresh data is is also really useful. Okay, we'll just quickly go back to the Site Explorer page and look at some of the other. Uh, features it has there. Just put in traffic Travis again. Okay, so here we've got some tabs here so we can get a view of the top backlinks. Um, <clears throat> I mean most of this most of this stuff is on the on the summary page. Uh, the referring domains. Um, you can see Clickbank there is at the top and also the top pages <coughs> and you can scroll down through those lists and sort them in, in whatever order you want so again um, Majestic SEO requires a free account they do have subscription plans where you get more features and more information but as you can see the the free account gives you quite a lot of very useful information Okay, the last site I'm going to be looking at is Bleco, and Bleco is a fairly new um, search engine. Uh, as of the recording of this video, it's uh, still listed as a beta 2. Now, out of all the new search engines I've seen, and there's certainly been a lot that have come around and claimed they're a Google killer, this one is incredibly useful. Um, there's quite a few features on it that you just don't get on any of the other search engines. Um, where it really comes into its own is, is its filtering and, and sorting options. So it uses a thing called slash tags and slash tags are just a, a way of modifying the, the data you see. So if we put in traffic Travis, if I can spell, and they have a slash tag called slash SEO and what that will do it will give you a whole bunch of SEO information related to that site. So here we go, and it will automatically combine the non non triple non dub 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 and the dub 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 versions of the site. So here we can get a quick summary. We can see the links from the various states, uh, which countries, and um, when it was last crawled, which sites have how many sites have duplicate content. Um, <clears throat> And a whole bunch of other stuff and if we have a look over here we've got some options where we can see some additional information so for example we can click on there and see the inbound links so here we've got uh, it's reporting over 13,000 links from 467 domains um, <clears throat> again they give a, a host rank to these domains higher the number yeah, so for example YouTube here is over 16,000 uh, not, not surprisingly, it's a, a very high number. Again, you can sort these by by any column you can like. Um, <clears throat> and if we're looking at the actual uh, URL SEO, we can see here that you can look to see which URLs contain duplicate content, uh, inbound links to that URL, outbound links, internal links, and then you can get a summary of the sections and um, see the HTML source as well. They also have a, um, a toolbar which is I think currently available for Firefox and Chrome. Um, but one advantage of this site, uh, you don't need to log in to use it. And yeah, it, it, is, it is incredibly useful. It's um, very quick to use and you know, potentially they'll, they'll add more information as, as time goes on. So in the end, yeah, my my suggestion is to use all all three of the sites. Uh, you know, Open Site Explorer, Majestic SEO, and Bleco, and just just see which one suits your needs. They, you know, that they, they all provide slightly different information in slightly different formats, but uh, all of all the information they do do report is pretty much what you used to be able to get out of Yahoo Site Explorer, and in a lot of cases, the information. Is a, is a lot more detailed, so um, suggest you you go and check them for yourself and decide which one uh, that you prefer. 
Okay, well hopefully you've found that information useful and you'll be able to uh, get all the SEO information that you need out of them.